Hey, it's Roger once again with Fossil University today talking about brains. Alright, now, they say you know, we all have brains. Well, some of us do. <laughs> anyway, this is a brain that was found by a mud fossil researcher. And I, I got to be honest with you, I can't come up with a name who sent me this. And we worked together a little bit quickly. And, uh, and then it was left in my lap here and I can't remember who it was so if the person sees it please you know get back to me but anyway the point I'm bringing up is this is a brain this is the synovial sheath area um, um, I'm sorry this is the sinus cavity and that is the your upper palate really of your your mouth that's the tongue that comes up in the back of your mouth and that of course is your esophagus and this is a layer of actually tissue that was still preserved in this brain. Now what I want you to look at is you see these layers? All those layers, a zillion layers. We are made in layers. Now you see them over here? These, it, it, it's fascinating this thing, you see? This is the, the tongue and this would have been the roof of the guy's mouth and of course it's his throat, his esophagus and it's all got these little coily looking things. Now, the important thing that I'm looking at here is the layers of the brain. Now, I was in electronics industry, and we used to have something called parallel processing. Now, they talk about how does a person understand how to say no. Blah, 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 blah. Well, if you look at this, these are almost like layers of, of, of processing channels. They may communicate from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, and when you start adding multiple parallel processing layers. You can process video and sound and taste and motion and stress and cold and heat. And I mean, you may, well, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out because that is, they don't know this. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows it. Now this is way deep into the looking real close at all these, fi these are fibers. Those aren't just creases, those are fibers. And these are all fibers running. Those are neural pathways. Those are neur neural connections. All right, this is with the light highlighting it from behind. Look at that. Now, I'm saying there's something going on with all these different layers and all these different wires and cables and connectors and neurons and... I mean, this is a this is a very sophisticated device, and I think that, I mean, there's people like Mary Lou Henner can remember every single thing that ever happened to her in her entire life, the day, the temperature was, you know, how cold it was, you know, everything about the day, everything that was in every day of her life. How do you do that? How is that done? They don't know. They're, I mean, they are so lost about this kind of thing right now. And who isn't? I mean, you know, obviously, how does it work? But I do know that parallel processing is. The capabilities are absolutely incredible. It, it went from hyper, we, we used to start, when I first started in this, very basic, very basic, four bit processors, eight bit processors, we went up to 16, then 32, 64, even up to 128 and, and, and beyond. And every time you add double that number, you create absolutely unbelievable, they call them permutation functions. And as you start to grow and grow and grow these numbers, you end up with numbers that are just astronomical. And, um, and, and, and when you start layering them, you have an astronomical number and another astronomical, and between all these layers, you know, that's what I'm talking about in, in, in computers. That's how it, it, it went into multiple cores and then hyper-threading and then all these different variations of that to what we have now is like uh, they actually have qubits they call them now which is quantum bit computing which adds a whole nother layer where you have not just ones and zeros you have ones and zeros so it, my point being is that there's things here they never knew about all this stuff that's going on inside the brain they still don't know about it so there's a lot that needs to be investigated. Mud fossils is the answer to everything. It's the answer to everything there is in life right now. And it's just, it's too much for people to accept. You see that Mitchell Hedges skull? It looks like it can't possibly be real. Well, let me show you something. I am gonna say that's absolutely 100% real. And the reason I'm saying that is because of all these fibers. You see that? 
You see that? Nobody put those inside the guy's brain. You see this back here? You see that? Nobody did that either. You see this coming up here? You see this coming up here? Nobody did that either. You see all this and that? Nobody did that. You see this little pad here that's pushed away from the back of the brain? But here, it's way back here. Well, it came this way because his face, as you can see, is squished up. His head was laying down forward on his lip. It pushed his nose and his lip back up, and the brain cavity case, the brain went forward and left this cavity in the back. This jaw actually articulates and comes off of this skull, just like it would in a human body. The teeth are absolutely flawless, and that is a rub. Oh, it can't possibly be real because of the teeth. Well, let me tell you something. There was a time on this earth when everybody was supposed to be absolutely flawless. So I don't know about these teeth. I looked at them too. i, I got to be honest with you. They are flawless. <laughs> so all I can say is there was a time they said it was like that. That's all I can say. The rest of it, there's no question. No, the rest, if you got 999.99999% correct, and one little thing that you just can't say, oh, that could be, that could be, well, I'm going with the whole thing is correct. Now, furthermore than that, Jody and I were talking, I just had slipped my mind, where, you know, apparently, Toth talked about the 12 intelligences that he left behind in different places, the halls of Amante and places like that. Apparently, I, Jody came up with this and she, you know, she's pretty good at looking into this stuff and she said that she thought she remembered 12, 12 intelligences or 12, something with 12 that, that was a secret. And there's there supposed to be 12 of these crystal skulls. Now, I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know if that's got anything built into it or not. There is so much mystery on this earth right now that has been revealed with mud fossils that it's every day is like it's like crawling down into uh, you know that uh, some kind of fairy tale. It's just it's it's I don't know how to explain it, but it's it, it, all the things that they say were myths and silly and ridiculous are all true. And all of the things that say are true, once you start realizing, they're ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Big Bang, everything popped from nothing. Life just started from slime, all accidental bumping molecules. If you start to stand back and look at what we've been fed, you're going to vomit. I'm sorry, that's a fact.